going in the direction that history has already shown us is a mutually assured destruction path to nowhere. And if you don't believe a civilization can fall, remember the Arabs created algebra. Okay, they are the originators of coffee as we know it today. And uh, extremism has brought their country to, uh, brought their culture, I should say, to a crawl. Well, other things can do that to cultures too, things like war. So the UK could cite American nuclear, new nuclear missiles on British soil Amid heightened tensions with Russia, Philip Hammond has indicated the comments raise the prospect of a return to a Cold War type arms race with Russia over the use of nuclear missiles. We're talking about nuclear war in 2015. How dismal is that? The foreign secretary said that they were worrying signs about the increased activity of Russian forces in the UK would consider the pros and cons of taking U.S. immediate range weapons. Mr. Hammond said there was no clear sign of an imminent attack on the Ukraine, but Vladimir Putin is keeping his options open. He warned against making unnecessary provocations against Russia, Russia which has a sense of being surrounded and under attack. Again, because we promised, uh, according to the fall of the Soviet Union, that we would not be placing these things here. Well, now, the, of course, the UK, more nuclear missiles going in that direction, which could be uh, an affront to a new Cold War. Mind-blowing, my friends, mind-blowing. And, of course, you know what that is. That, of course, brings us to what everybody waits for, the dumdy of the day. And, as always, the dumdy of the day is every bit as dumb as you did, in fact, worry that it would be. So we're going to call up our dumdy music and get it ready. Self-defense in the U.K. is illegal. If I could send dunce caps, I tell you, if I could send dunce caps to foreign countries, if I could afford to do that, you can help me. You, uh, the correct view is at hotmail.com. Donate it. Well, every penny you give to me goes to a better show. If I could afford to send dunce caps overseas, I swear to God, there would be some going across vast, vast oceans and long distances. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I do send dunce caps to people. Uh, look up the dunce cap of the month award. I've sent them to the FBI. I've sent them to the Pentagon. I've sent them everywhere. There's our dumb D music. Oh, yeah. How do you make self-defense illegal? I mean, the, the Magna Carta has turned 800. So you would think, you know, isn't that insured some? Again, you know, basic rights. Who knows what that is? But... In the age where the Magna Carta has turned 800, we have this, self-defense being illegal in the UK. The dumdy of the day. British citizens seeking advice on what's legal for self-defense found some answers. There's a link at www.askthe.police.uk. It's a website and it's operated by the government's police national legal database. This is in the New American. Bob Edelman wrote this. Question 589, are there any legal self-defense products that I can buy? The answer, the only fully legal self-defense product is a rape alarm. Yeah, that's right. That's true. And if you can't trigger the alarm, then you can just get raped. There may be other products, according to the website, but they haven't been fully tested. And if you purchase one, you must be aware there is always the possibility that you will be arrested and detained until the product and its contents and its legality can be verified. In other words, basic self-defense in England is technically illegal. In an effort to reduce anxiety, why would you be anxious in a nation where you can't defend yourself? The website goes on to point out that any product a British citizen purchases other than a rape alarm must not be a product which is made to cause a person injury. So you wouldn't want to cause your rapist any injury, now would you? Do you see why I do the dumdy of the day? Do, do, you see, do you see why? Oh my god, let's go on. It gets even worse. I can't stop. You know you don't want me to. It offers some suggestions along with a disclaimer. Oh, wow, well, well, how kind of them. A disclaimer, you see. 
a British citizen may use a squirt bottle with a safe but brightly colored dye. Oh, well, that's nice. And of course, the dye will stick to the skin and the police will catch them. After you have been thoroughly raped. That is why I'm closing the show with a little bit of Sex Pistols. Maybe it's time for just a little bit of anarchy in the you freaking K. Do you think so, friends? You are listening to the correct views. And I do believe in self-defense. I hope to harm nobody, but I'll tell you what, I'm not just going to squirt you if you try to kill me. Or, God forbid, rape me. Uh, you can donate to the show, the correct views at Hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. And uh, you can go to TheMediaSpeaks.com. Look up the work of Kyle Court D. Lake and my safe fr myself, friends. We are posting all the time. Good night. God bless. And crank the sex pistols. Thanks, guys.